Hey techies, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's Drika, y'all. I haven't posted a video in so long. I really miss talking to you guys. Um, I've been seeing all your requested videos all containing the PTCB exam. So I have created a series of videos every Sunday that I will be posting all talking about the PTCB exam, pharmacology, math, everything will be posted every Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the PTCB exam and four steps that I feel like you should take before even starting to study for the exam. So if you're interested in this video, make sure you keep on watching. Preparing for the PTCB exam is an integral career move for any pharmacy technicians, but having a set day to when you're going to take your PTCB exam is very, very important. I feel like it's important because one, it'll help motivate you and make sure you're not slacking off and also gives you enough time to study for your exam, whether you're taking it a couple months, a month, or one to four months. Having a set day to when you're taking your exam is going to be the first step to taking your exam. Now, techies, there's a pro and con to having multiple textbooks. I have so many because I was in school, and also I bought additional two other textbooks. So the pro would be, for example, the math. Every math book is different, and it will explain a problem differently, which is great because then you'll find out which method works best for you. Now, the con would be your money because these textbooks are not cheap. But I'll have all the textbooks I have used to study the PTC exam in my description below, but I highly recommend the most of books. Now, take you studying for the PTCB exam is super important that you have this PTCB content outline that's going to be on ptcb.org, which I have in my description below, but it has basically everything that would be on the exam. Now, one thing I don't like about the PTCB content outline is it doesn't go into detail about each subject. So this website that I'll have a link in my description actually goes into depth of what each subject talks about, which is amazing. So definitely check this website out. Another website that I love using is PTCB Tech Math. Y'all, this has every math problem you can think of, and it'll go step by step of everything, like step by step how to solve it, different ways to solve it. So how to recommend looking at the PTCB math. Another website I love using is ptcbpracticetest.com. They have so many different practice tests and quizzes that you can do. And not only with their quizzes, it'll give you a question, but it also gives you like why the answer is correct and why the answer is wrong. So like for this one, it's nothing by mouth. And it gives an explanation of why that one is correct. Now say you got one wrong, um, this will be you know, of course wrong, and it gives you an answer or an explanation of why that question is wrong. Now, another website I love using is Quizlet.com, which I have mentioned this in my channel before. Now, take it. the last thing is knowing what to study first. Now, there's different ways you can go about that. If you guys didn't know, PTCB does have a test you can take, which is a fee for, but after taking that test, it does break down what areas you need to focus on and what areas you need to study first. All right, if you've been on my channel for the longest, you guys know I love Medical Pocket Prep app. That app has multiple practice questions, but I use that app to help me figure out what I should study first, which I'll try to put a link for that in my description down below. All right, techies, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have any questions. Also comment down below if you want me to do more pharmacology videos first or you want me to talk about the math portion of the PTCB exam first. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.